Hey Scorpio, welcome to your love and romance reading for February 2021. If you are sick and tired of us tarot readers doing love readings, nothing but love readings, you came to the right channel, you just clicked on the wrong video. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I do weekly forecasts for all of the signs about everything except for love, and those get posted every week. And once a month, there's a love reading. And so this is that love reading. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for love? February 2021. I feel like we need one more good shuffle here. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. So <laughs> some of you aren't going to like what I'm seeing. Uh, but before we go into the cards, I saw like this long line of people coming up to a door, like knocking. So don't be surprised, Scorpio, if starting in February, people from the past start falling out of the woodwork. Okay, I don't feel that you're going to like be with any of these people. I feel energetically you've already let them go. You've released them, but they might be surfacing here in the 3D realm so that you can kind of you know tie up the loose ends in the 3d realm as well again this is a general reading this isn't going to be for every single one of you and some of you are like oh god please don't let it be for me you know but some of you might have the past resurfacing here and this is what's really interesting scorpio i feel these people are coming up to apologize to you like they feel and they sense that they've wronged you and they want to apologize to you and you're just kind of like yeah you know what? I healed. I'm over it. Thank you. Have a nice life. Bye. But don't be surprised if that begins to happen for some of you. Okay. So your first card here, Scorps, is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Pentacles is like slow and steady wins the race. This is commitment. This is dependability. This is practicality. Scorpio, I feel like um, a lot of you, in terms of your love relationship or romance, I don't typically get this feeling from the Knight of Pentacles, but I'm getting it for you guys. I feel that some of you are like making the decision, those of you who are single or those of you who are looking for a new relationship, maybe we should say. I feel like for some reason, some of you are making a decision that you specifically want an earth sign. Like, you've just been like, I want to be with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Like, you've just made this decision that you want to be with an Earth sign. Um, I'm getting Earth sign energy for some of you for whatever reason. You're very specific about being with an Earth sign person or wanting to be in a relationship with that Earth sign energy. For other ones of you, this Knight of Pentacles, I feel, is some of you are going to have somebody coming in. And offering you a relationship, right? And you might not be looking for it. You might even be watching this video like, why am I even watching a love video right now? Because I'm not even focused on love right now, right? But for some reason, I'm watching a love video. Some of you are even in that energy. But I feel with this Knight of Pentacles, this person is stepping up and offering you a relationship. I don't feel it's anybody from the past. I feel this is a new person. And you're not completely convinced. Like you're not like jumping at the bit to be with this person. Not that you're not interested in them. Not that you don't find them attractive. But you're focused on other things. And I feel that this person Scorpio is looking at you like. Okay. Alright. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to win Scorpio over. Right. I'm going to prove myself through my actions. Through my deeds. I just kind of feel like someone set their sights on you, not in a creepy stalker kind of way, not in like this obsessive way where they're like disrespecting your boundaries, but like they just feel like this is it. Like Scorpio is my person. I'm going to be with Scorpio and all right, I'll be patient however long that it takes. So, um, you know, you might even kind of be looking at this person like, uh, you know, waiting for them to give up or to move on or to go date other people but I just feel Scorpio that a lot of you are uh, gonna have this suitor coming in like this person's really serious about you and that they will take all the time in the world uh, to prove themselves to you okay 
I feel a lot of you are also manifesting dependability, right? You've had to be the rock for other people. You've had to be the rescuer. You've had to be the fixer. And now you're manifesting energy of people that you can depend on, that you can count on. There's a sense of commitment too here that comes with the Knight of Pentacles. So manifesting committed energy, commitment energy coming out of the pattern and the cycle of lovers right and i'm not saying that it's it's you know that 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 lovers is is like something that you shouldn't experience but scorpio many of you have had a pattern or a cycle where you've had nothing but lovers you know like you've had intense connections with these people there's been emotions there there's been feelings there but your lives have never meshed right this person was never really fully involved with your friends and family you were never fully involved with their friends and family you would get together you would experience each other you would have feelings for each other but your lives were not on the same path and there may have even not been a sense of commitment maybe you were very committed to that person but maybe they weren't committed to you and you were just kind of turning a blind eye to it because the connection was very intense and because you liked having them in your life but a lot of you are breaking out of the cycle of the lover kind of relationship and coming into the energy of commitment commitment dependability reliability something that withstands the test of time the next card here my darlings is the seven of wands right and i feel this is the energy of that knight of pentacles person like this is someone who's standing their ground they're not fighting they're not being dramatic they're not overstepping their boundaries but they're just they're present they're here right like they're here so um many of you also okay with the seven of wands maybe in an energy as you are uh having <laughs> the past return at your door just that thank you but no energy thank you but no i don't want to say there's a power struggle here but i really feel scorpio that there are just a lot of people that are going to be showing up in february and i feel like okay i feel it's going to start in february but i feel it's going to go on for quite some time quite some months to the extent this is how long i feel like it's going to happen for a lot of you i feel it's happening so long to the extent that some of you are already settled down already with somebody you know married or living with this person happily and you still have people from the past resurfacing wanting to say sorry wanting another chance and you're like sorry <laughs> i'm very happy with who i'm with now right i just feel like for a very long time you're going to have people resurfacing and so scorpio i feel this is just you kind of in that stance where you're like it's okay i've forgiven it i've let it go but like let's stay separate paths right and so you might have people really trying to win you over really trying to prove that they're sorry right but you're standing your ground you're standing your ground uh, for many of you this is also boundaries with people in your life right maybe people in your life have gotten too involved with your relationships and caused situations caused problems and so you might be keeping certain friends and certain family not not all of them because you're coming out of the lover energy and this person is going to be involved in your life but it might be very clear to you which friends or which family members don't need to know about the relationship or what's going on in your relationship or you know pushing you that oh well they better be doing this and they better be doing that and they better have this kind of car and they better be making this kind of money like you don't want to hear it You're like i don't need that negativity coming in right i'm deciding who i'm going to be with and i'm going to pick the person based on my standards not somebody else's standards so there could be boundaries here in that way as well your next card here scorpio is the ace of pentacles and this makes me happy this makes me happy okay uh ace of pentacles is going to be new energy new opportunities right in a very very literal way it can mean that some of you are meeting this person through work or through business endeavors however this overall is new offers, new energy, new opportunity. So this is confirming for me that this is somebody new. Okay, this is somebody new that's coming in. 
you're not taking back somebody from the past. Now, the reason why this card makes me happy, those of you who watch my videos, you've heard me talk about the Ace of Pentacles. It has a special meaning for me in my readings. When I see the Ace of Pentacles come up for somebody, it tells me that you're breaking out of generational curses, inherited negative patterns, inherited negative cycles. You're coming into an energetic upgrade. You're getting a massive energy shift here. You're getting a massive upgrade. So you're improving the quality of your life. You know, for some of you, maybe even business is also going well or work opportunities are also opening up. But also like the quality of relationships is increasing and progressing and you're attracting a higher quality relationship right a higher quality connection i feel and this card came up for somebody else i don't know if it was taurus or somebody else um you guys will have to let me know in the comments those of you who watch your moon and rising and venus you'll have to let me know who else it came up for but um the ace of pentacles for me in a love reading can also mean that you are finding yourself in a relationship with someone who you feel comes from like a higher status than you or a higher class, right? In some countries, there's a much... I'm not, I'm not going to say that class statuses don't exist in the United States. I'm not going to say that. But in some countries, it's a lot more like in your face, right? Uh, here in America, it might be a little bit more discreet, right? But you might be feeling that you're with someone that's from like a higher class than you or a higher kind of uh, uh, income bracket than you. And so as your lives are beginning to be incorporated, you might be concerned or worried that this person's going to look down on you be because of the people that are in your background from your past, from your upbringing. And you might feel like this person's family is going to look down on you like you're not on their level. But Ace of Pentacles wants you to know something. This relationship and this opportunity wouldn't be here now unless you were ready for it. It's here because you're ready for it, okay? And the situation here is that, like, vibrationally, you've matched up with this person. And vibrationally, you've matched up with the people in their life, right? So they're going to see you as an equal. You don't have to feel insecure, right? They might have a lot of respect for you that, wow, you know, you've had a lot of struggles you've had a lot of hard times and you've done a lot with your life and you've come a really long way and you are not somebody who gave up right and so they would even have a lot of respect for you for, for many of you so don't let yourself feel intimidated or insecure or feel like you're not good enough to be in that person's life because that's not the case right you have found each other through vibration through energy right as, as equals and this person sees you as an equal so don't think of yourself as like less than right it might be kind of uncomfortable at first but you're coming into a new life you're coming into a new energy your next card here my darlings is the queen of swords this is boundaries okay boundaries 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 now i have to tell you guys something this is not going to be for every single one of you okay but this is going to be for some of you i feel that like i said for scorpio work is picking up financial opportunities are coming in at the same time of this relationship i also feel the relationship of the person that you're with is going to be somebody that is doing quite well for themselves and so I'm feeling the Queen of Swords energy in this way or in this aspect of like people coming at you, friends, family, like wanting to be taken care of financially, you know, wanting money or expecting that, you know, uh, you know, you might have family that are, that are like expecting you to support them. Uh, or to send them money every month because they're seeing you as oh well you're doing so well and your spouse is doing so well you have all this money you need to be sending us money and i'm not saying you guys aren't gonna help the, this family or these relatives but i do feel with the queen of swords there's a sense of boundaries here like you might be cutting it off at a certain level or at like a certain point right because they're just going to keep wanting more and more and more and more and more. And a lot of you are like, look, you know, some of you maybe aren't giving anything at all. 
but I do feel there's this sense of like boundary. Like this is the point, this is the line. I'm going to make the line very clear to you and this is the line that's not going to be crossed. Very, very, very clear, solid line here. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Okay? Um, I also feel here, Scorpio, those of you that have kept certain friends or certain family out of your business of what's happening in this relationship, once you're already like with this person and you guys are moving forward, you're going to see that you have certain friends or family that are being very critical of this person. Like, oh, well, they have to approve them or they, you know, um, they haven't gotten to know the person yet. So they're not going to take your commitment seriously or they're not going to give your blessing, uh, their blessing. And Scorpio, I just kind of feel like you're very respectfully like, thank you, but, you know, I'm going to be with this person. You're not going to be with this person. And I've already made my decision right? So you're setting a boundary with this person. Like this is not open for negotiation. I'm not going to sit here and have a conversation with you and defend who I want to be with. The decision has already been made, right? This is not about you approving it. You're, you're free to have your opinion, but your opinion is of no interest to me. It's not something I'm taking into consideration, right? I can make the decision of who I'm going to be with for myself. So I feel like you're not so worried anymore about that critical, um, you know, criticism, right? Because you're like, you're, you're with the person because you know, it's the right person for you. And you're not allowing these opinions or um, these attitudes to make you feel uncomfortable or second guess yourself you're not even entertaining it like you don't have time for that negativity your next card here scorpios is the ace of cups oh my gosh you got two very positive cards coming up here and i love it i love it i love it i love it okay uh traditionally ace of cups is a very happy card you know, and on top of that, it's a special card for me, as is the Ace of Pentacles. I'll get to that in just a moment for those of you who don't know. But traditionally, the Ace of Cups is going to be like a soulmate love, emotional fulfillment, a new home, abundance, creativity. It's all these happy, positive things. Okay, so not only are you manifesting this relationship or this new start, but you're manifesting a happy, comfortable home. And you're manifesting abundance and you're manifesting emotional fulfillment, which is really important for Scorpios, right? Because when it comes down to it, Scorpios can't fake anything, right? If a Scorpio's heart is not in it, they can't be in it, right? Scorpios can't be in it for, uh, you know, status or money or, um, you know, uh, impressions or images like they need to like. They need to have that connection. And so many of you Scorpios maybe have kind of struggled to find someone that you have that emotional fulfillment with, that you feel that deep level of connection with. And Ace of Cups is that card of emotional fulfillment. You're finding that emotional match or that emotional equal. Okay? Now, the reason why this card makes me so, so happy is it has a special meaning for me. When I see Ace of Cups come up for a person it's telling me that this person has gone through their karmic cycles their karmic lessons and they've come to a point where they've just gotten fed up and they're like look universe i have learned my lesson i am sick of feeling this way i am sick of people meddling in my business i'm sick of being taken advantage of i'm sick of letting the wrong ones in i'm sick of you know you know wh whatever it is right whatever you're sick of you're sick of it and you're like, I've learned my lesson. I know what to look out for. I know what the red flags are. I'm not making this mistake again. I want to be happy. I'm not doing this anymore. Universe says, awesome. Scorpio is awake now. Scorpio no longer needs these negative lessons to wake them up. And now that Scorpio is awake, Scorpio is ready for the happy karma. Scorpio is ready for the lessons that come in through love, support, success, accomplishment creativity friendship laughter abundance all the wonderful things right kind of like when we're in school there's some teachers all the kids are like oh god please don't let me be in that teacher's class this year oh man i hope i don't get that teacher and then there's some teachers all the kids are like oh please 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 i hope i get to be on teacher's class 
it's the same grade it's the same topics right it's just that one teacher teaches it in a fun way and one teacher just makes the students dread being there you're getting to be in the fun class you're transitioning over to the fun class so this is manifesting positive karma this is manifesting a happy karma soulmate a positive karma soulmate instead of the soulmates that teach us through pain right it's a very positive shift it's turning over that karmic leaf right to a positive new uh, way of experiencing life and experiencing life lessons so exciting stuff here my darlings um be sure to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos as well as your venus some months those may resonate more than others you may need a private reading which i'm more than happy to do for you if you want to go to calendarly.com slash amethyst angelite you can schedule a private reading with me there and don't forget the weekly forecasts where we talk about everything other than love so hopefully we'll see you there thanks for watching liking sharing commenting and subscribing bye my darlings